Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Sheik Kebab Curry. It's a very spicy Indian curry recipe and for this recipe we need some Sheik Kebab. Here I am using store bought chicken Sheik Kebab and I have just baked this kebab in oven which is preheated to 200 degrees Celsius and I have just baked this Sikh kebab for about 20 minutes after that I have cut them into small pieces some chopped onion some beaten soft yogurt here I am using fat free yogurt but you can use regular fresh yogurt also I have mixed 2 tablespoon of water and I have beaten well some fresh cream, some garlic paste, salt to taste, some red chili powder, some turmeric powder and some ginger powder, some garam masala powder and coriander powder and we need some cumin powder. Here I have roasted this white cumin powder or shahi zira and I have coarsely ground it so it is the main flavor of this dish you have to use sahi jeera not plain jeera you just roast this jeera in a skillet for about 2 or 3 minutes after that you coarse, uh, ground them coarsely do not ground them into a fine powder coarsely ground cumin seeds are more flavorful than cumin powder so I will use this and we need some cooking oil so first of all I will heat a pan and I will add some vegetable oil here I am using sunflower oil and I will first of all I will fry the chopped onion I will fry it for about two or three minutes until they become transparent now I will add minced garlic and salt to taste and I will fry it just for a few seconds after that I will add all the spices coriander powder, garam masala powder, cumin powder, turmeric powder, ginger powder and red chili powder and I will add some water and I will cook these spices for about 2 or 3 minutes on medium flame it's a very quick recipe it will just take about uh, 13 to 15 minutes so the masala is cooked well and now I will add beaten yogurt, cream and I will add some more water. After that I will cook this gravy for about 5 minutes. I will mix it well and on medium flame. I will cook this first. My Sikh kebabs are already baked, so I don't have to boil this, uh, boil those Sikh kebab in this gravy for too long. I will just boil them for about two or three minutes. Before that, I will boil this gravy for five minutes. After five minutes, the gravy is ready. Now I will add. The baked chicken shik kebab and I have already added just one teaspoon of sugar it is optional if you don't want to use sugar you can skip it and now I will boil it just about two minutes on medium flame do not over boil this gravy with this shik kebab otherwise the shik kebabs will be too soft and the the authentic taste of this gravy will be spoiled so just boil this gravy 
for 2 or maximum 3 minutes on medium flame. After another 2 minutes, it is ready. Now I will serve this. You can serve this shik kabab curry with roti, paratha or with boiled rice. It's a traditional Pakistani recipe and very flavorful and very spicy too. Now I will garnish this gravy with a few leaves of coriander. If you like this recipe, please leave a comment below and keep watching my channel for more easy and quick recipes. Thanks for watching. Good luck.